Here's check on stories we're following for you today on Robin Hood Radio. Papagano's forecast. Well, after a rainy night again last night, today will be sun and clouds, a thunderstorm possible, about 85. Tomorrow, sunny, less humid, mid 80s. On Saturday, sun and clouds, mid 80s. And Sunday, partly cloudy, more humid, with late day thunderstorms, mid 80s. We'll get the full details on that tri state forecast coming your way in just a few minutes. Now, a couple of nights ago, we had strong storms in our area in the northwest. West corner, adjacent eastern New York and in Massachusetts. In Norfolk, storms that struck the northwest corner took down power lines and blocked roads with falling limbs. Just north of the Massachusetts border, the same line of powerful storms caused the death of a New Hampshire man. Where in that microburst, a 70 mile an hour gust of wind knocked down a tree onto the person's car. Lennox Police Chief Stephen O'Brien reported that 56 year old Darren Cawthorn of Derry, New Hampshire, died when that tree fell on his pickup truck along Route 7. The National Weather Service reported near hurricane force winds associated with that line of storms that threatened through the area. Troop B in North Canaan, of course, fielded more than a dozen storm related emergency calls. That was two nights ago. Last night, we had more thunderstorms as well. The Massachusetts Senate has passed a reproductive rights bill. Massachusetts lawmakers can get to work crafting a final reproductive rights bill following the Senate's unanimous vote on Wednesday. A distance between the branches and approach to late-term abortions looms as a speed bump with the window for action closing in the latest state-level volley prompted by a U.S. Supreme Court decision overturning Roe v. Wade. The Senate voted 40 to nothing on Bill S-2996. That would erect new legal shields for reproductive and gender-affirming care in Massachusetts, ban insurers from shifting abortion costs onto patients and expand access to emergency contraceptives. No one spoke in opposition to the bill. All three in the Senate Republicans voted in favor alongside 37 Democrats. The town of Amenia is now accepting applications for the following volunteer positions. One unexpired position on the Board of Assessment Review, two alternate Zoning Board of Appeal members, two Wastewater Committee members, one unexpired position for the Recreation Commission, one town historian position, and two Conservation Advisory Council members. Town residency is required for all volunteer positions. Letters of interest and a resume can be submitted via email to townclerk at aminianewyork.gov or via the regular mail, town clerk. Route 22, Amenia, New York, 12501. The application deadline for positions is noon on July 28th. The Pine Central Central School Board of Education gathered on July 6th addressing the many appointments, authorizations, and designations featuring on its agenda for its annual organizational meeting. The Board of Education met at the Sissing Mountain Junior Senior High School Library at 7 p.m. and live stream meeting through its website, ppcsd.org. Full details available at tricornernews.com. Meanwhile, in Salisbury, the Salisbury Housing Committee will hold a site tour on Saturday at 9 a.m., followed by a second information session on plans for affordable housing on a 5.3-acre lot near the town village. The information session is scheduled for 11 a.m. at Salisbury Congregational Church on Saturday to present plans and answer questions regarding access over the old railroad corridor to the proposed building lot off East Railroad Street. Railroad Days is underway, and so is the Canaan Carnival. The Canaan Carnival started last night. Railroad Days started Yesterday, Railroad Days runs through the 17th in North Canaan. For a full event calendar on the web, CanaanRailroadDays.com. On Railroad Days, the vendor market will be held Saturday from 10 till 3 at the Town Municipal Parking Lot in downtown North Canaan. Now, the Ralph Venturello Memorial and Amenia Lions Kids Fishing Derby, ages 15 and under, will be held Saturday from 10 till 1, rain or shine. Free hot dog, chips, and soda and water for each angler. It's free. No dogs, glass containers, casting or lures, throwing rocks, or unattended children. Free worms will be provided. Venturello's Pond is located behind the Fresh Town of Amenia, entered from Old North Road. Gear the Lodge is having its open house on Saturday from 10 until 3. You're invited. There'll be food, tours, and more. You must RSVP to gearcares.org. Click on the link or call Deb at 860-824-2625. Kidsdale Free Concert for Kids will rock Hillsdale's Hamlet Park. That comes up on Saturday. 
It's a free summer concert featuring noted area musicians performing music specifically for children. It'll be held at the Hamlet Park on Saturday from 2 until 5 p.m. Kidsdale is produced by the Economic Development Committee and the town of Hillsdale. Meanwhile, the Canyon Railroad Day's big fireworks display will be held July 16th uh, at Lawrence Field, as always, as the viewing point. And coming up on Sunday, Conversation Galante, a courteous conversation, Jewels of French Baroque. It's Crescendo's latest concert featuring period instrument ensembles performed work by French Baroque composers of the 18th century. That will be held on Sunday at 4 p.m. at St. Paul's Church in Stockbridge. More information and tickets available at crescendomusic.org. Our business brief is underwritten by Morgan's at the Interlaken, interlakenin.com. You'll find them on Facebook and Instagram. They feature a menu, menu, tapas menu, also dinner specials nightly, interlakenin.com, and also again on Facebook and Instagram, and by Salisbury Bank, salisburybank.com. Dow Jones Industrial Average starts off the day today at 30,772.79. The NASDAQ at 11,247.58, and the S&P 500 at 3801.78. We'll take a look at the tri-state forecast. That'll come your way in just a few moments.